Oh man. It's a busy Monday morning. This um, little car park's got bloody parking on it now. You never used to have to pay to park in here. It's just like a little car park look. And all it does is it serves those little parade of shops that go along there. Subway and all of that. But you have to pay now. And it's free for one hour. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, that's all right. Free for one hour. A pound, 150 for two hours. Looks like 220, I think that looks like. <coughs> I think it says 220 for three hours. 24 hours, four pound fifty. Pound arrival. Hundred pound fine if you don't pay. Looks like that's an external company probably. Somebody's not the somebody's not the post box down over there. <laughs> anyway, time to go. Happy Monday morning, you lot. It's a Monday and it's a bloody lovely one. The day is bright. The clouds are in the sky, but so is the sun, and it's wonderful. The forecast is rain all week. Good. I hope that happens, because we definitely need a lot of rain. Everywhere, everywhere's a bit dry. But yeah, man, just a happy morning to you, look. Right? I was sitting on the toilet this morning, right? And all of a sudden, a fly came in the window. I started buzzing around, and, I'm, and then that made me think. Bloody hell, I haven't seen any flies this summer. Usually, like, a thing of the past is, you'd always have to think about the flies. If you put a bit of food on the table, you have to think, cover it up, because the flies will get it. And if you don't, sure enough, swarms of flies all over the place. There was definitely a time when you always had to think about the bloody flies. You put food down, you had to think about covering it up, but recently, like, I was only just thinking, like, when was the last time I really thought about flies? We've, I've only seen one in our house this year, and that's what made me think about the bloody flies. And it always used to be a problem. Really, wasps are the only problem this year. We've had a lot of wasps, but flies, we've had barely none. And I find that bloody, like, what's happened to all the flies? What purpose do flies even do? I'll have to look that up. What purpose do flies even have? Oh, yes. That's the stuff. Nice bit of tuna. It's Prince's tuna, though. I tend to find that um, Prince's tuna is not as good as John West. But it's still tuna. Got some jammy dodgers. A bottle of water. Hope to have a nice chilled out break time. And we're doing the one nine. Nice and quiet. For some reason. We'll keep it on the one nine for now. Nice bit of tuna. No flies about. <laughs> good, good. That's the way we that's the way we like to roll. I'll let you can go in the train. Cool. That's a bit too warm to come in on a day like today. I'm just sitting here. I'm watching somebody do so a review on South End on Sea. <laughs> South End Beach. Right Friday next to where I live. I can go down there whenever I want. It's funny to see somebody do a review on South End. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, you look bloody I'm gonna have to cut this one short. I ain't had enough. Um well, I say I've had enough time, I've had enough time, I just ain't been nowhere to have a look at nothing. But, um, but let me know like, in the comments, what do you think about the... I know it's like a small weird thing, isn't it, like fries, but honestly, I hadn't even thought about any flies. I mean, usually in the summer, like, you're always going on like... <clears throat> flies are everywhere, buzzing around, you're trying to watch TV in your living room, and bzz, flies, and you're trying to get them out of the window, you've got a fly squall, trying to squat them. You know, normally that's what happens. And uh, whenever you put any food outside, like on a picnic table or something, you've always got to watch out for the flies and fry them away, you sort of thing, you know, brush them away and cover your food up and all that. We've had picnics in the garden, we've been out at picnics, we've been done whatever, had a barbecue, etc. And we haven't even, flies haven't even been around. 
It was only because I had one the other day. I thought, bloody hell, you know. It's mad. Now, am I the only one that's sort of noticing this? But I know some of you are going to say, like, insects themselves are in a decline. Well, some people say that because there's, you know, loads of cars eating them and, you know, people are cutting down trees so interesting insects can't live and all that kind of stuff. Maybe they are, but flies, are they an insect? Yeah, they're an insect, but... You know, I dare say there's plenty of bins and other stuff that they can lay their eggs in to get maggots and then turn into flies, you know. Um, probably humans are probably one of the things that actually makes a, a habitat for flies to actually live in, you know, with the overflowing bins as we all have these days because we all have far too much rubbish and too much waste. So flies are probably everywhere around that kind of area. But oh, that's a mad kind of thing, that is. Anyway, you lot, I'm on my way home now. Um, you know, several days I've been trying to film this video. I keep meaning to go out and do um, a little exploration on a place. I'm not going to tell you what it is because then it will spoil it for when I eventually do, do get to do it. But I haven't had a chance to do it, and I've been. It's about three days now. So I thought, you know what, let's just wrap it up and I'll give you the content that I've already filmed, talking about flies. I don't know, maybe you lot can relate to it. Maybe maybe it's relatable material and you lot are like, yeah, man, where are all the flies? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch it tomorrow or whenever I next do a video. And um, hopefully I'll be able to show you this abandoned place that I've found and I'll have enough time to go and have a look around it. So, yeah. Ciao for now, you lot. All the best. Enjoy yourselves, won't you?